rescuing and restoring and um, reconciling horrible circumstances to his glory and our good. Uh, so I've made some horrible mistakes in my life that uh, kind of led me down a road that I shouldn't have been on. But then somewhere along the way, God introduced me to someone that I could witness to who I wouldn't have met if I hadn't been there in the first place. Uh, or uh, maybe made some choices about career or business or things that didn't turn out great, but it got me introduced to and involved with people that really helped me in my faith. God is in the business of, of reconciling and, and just uh, turning uh, ashes into beauty, resurrecting things from the dead. And Paul turns around, and his whole Christian life, he has wanted to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to the people in Jerusalem, and the Holy Spirit has pre prevented him, and he's going to talk about that in his sermon, and finally, because of his disobedience, because of his rebelling against God's prophets who told him, don't go to Jerusalem, he turns around and says, boy, I really made a mistake here, but while we're at it, I finally get to preach to people that I've been wanting to preach to ever since Christ saved me. And so if you find yourself again in a place where you probably shouldn't have been if you had done what God wanted you to do from the outset, but you see the opportunities that come up there, the people that you can minister to, the gospel that you can proclaim, the, the, uh, the generosity with your time, talent, and treasures for those in need, take advantage of it. Don't bemoan the fact that you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Say, God, thank you for rescuing this and turning it into something. Let me use this for your glory and my neighbor's benefit. I'll invite the music team forward uh, to close us in a final song of worship.